what's up you guys it's Desiree and today I have another book haul for you guys and it's not exactly a May book haul and it's not really a June book haul and also our channel turned one on June 17th and we started our channel with a May book haul because of a bookstore closing out sale and it just so happened that another bookstore closed and had another 50% off sale and then there were more book sales and then we got more books so yeah so I guess it's kind of like an anniversary book haul something yeah let's just call it an anniversary book haul and I am gonna get into that now oops the first book that I have to show you is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas which is a collection of the five novellas from the Throne of Glass series, which are like prequel novellas to the Throne of Glass series, and to the first book that's called Throne of Glass. And this follows the main character from the Throne of Glass series, Selena Sardothian, who is like the world's most notorious assassin. And it follows her as she goes on five different missions where she like liberates slaves and that's not really what she's supposed to be doing. She's an assassin, so she's like supposed to be hired to kill people, and she's supposed to be working for like the leader of all these assassins, guild people, and she's not actually working on his orders when she goes on these five missions to liberate all those slaves. I'm just excited to get to know more about Selena before she became the person that she is in Throne of Glass. The next book that I have to show you is The Penny Royal Academy by M.A. Larson, which is a, I believe, middle grade fantasy slash fairy tale book. There is this girl from the forest and then she finds herself in a land with no idea what she's doing there and she has no name. So then she enlists in the Penny Royal Academy, which is an academy that trains princes and knights to fight this evil or to fight in this war that's currently happening in the land. And then she is given the name Evie when she enlists in the academy and then we follow her on all the training that she has to go through and whatnot. And then she starts to find out what it's like to be a real princess and then she starts to discover more about herself and her family. This interests me a lot because like the map, well first of all it has a map which is just, it's just cool. And it has things like Cinderella's castle over there, the seven dwarfs. Since those things are there we're probably going to hear of or encounter fairy tale characters that we know which is really exciting because I love fairy tales. Reese Witherspoon blurbed it. That's kind of funny. The next book that I have is The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, which is the first book in The Remnant Chronicles. I've heard really good things about this book. It follows this girl named Princess Leah. Laya? Leah, Laya, Laya, Leah. And she is fed up with her life, so on the morning of her wedding, she flees to a village, and then there she, like, becomes enthralled with this like simple life of the villagers and then two mysterious handsome men come by and are hanging around and then they intrigue her and she doesn't know but one of them is the prince she was supposed to marry and the other one is the assassin that her father sent to kill her because her dad was totally not happy with her just like jumping ship last minute you know so like kill your daughter right Next, I picked up Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher, who is married to Tom Fletcher, who is in this band called McFly that my sister and I really like. You guys should all check them out. They're really good. This is a women's, like, like this is an adult fiction book. It's like women's literature, chick lit, romance. So this follows a girl named Sophie May who has a secret and it's a secret that she's been able to successfully keep a secret for a really long time and to do that she's had to give up her dreams of going to university and traveling the world and instead she stays in the little village that she grew up in with her mom and then she meets this guy named Billy and Billy is an actor and then she falls in love with him and then she 
get to, like caught up in his whirlwind of a life just being associated with Billy and being in the spotlight so much now her secret has the potential to not be a secret anymore. I'm anticipating this to be a really quick and easy fun like summer read so this is on my summer TBR. The next book that I have to show you is also by Giovanna Fletcher and it's also chick lit and it is you're the one that I want, and it follows this girl named Maddie. I believe it opens up on her wedding day, and she is standing in the back of the church and down, waiting for her at the aisle at the altar is Rob, her groom, and standing beside him as his best man, and also her other best friend is Ben. And Ben, Rob, and Maddie have been best friends since childhood, and Maddie starts to think that if it wasn't Rob standing there at the altar, it would probably be Ben. So she has to make a choice if she runs from it or if she goes through with marrying Rob because her heart is like torn into two, like she loves both guys. Can we just like appreciate these covers? Like silhouettes are so cute. The next book that I got is The Selection Stories by Kira Cass, which includes two novellas, The Prince and the Guard. And if you don't know what The Selection is, it's a young adult dystopian romance series that is basically like The Bachelor but royalty edition. The novella The Prince follows Maxin in the week leading up to The Selection and the first day of the competition. It's like said as like before America Singer was in the selection, there was another girl in Maxon's life. How could he get over a girl in one week? Because basically he fell in love with America when he met her. And the guard follows Aspen Leaguer as a guard in the royal palace. Yeah. And then I also picked up The Air, which is the fourth book in the selection, which is also kind of part of like a duology within the selection because the selection was three books originally which followed America Singer. This one follows Maxin Shreves' daughter. Maxin is the prince who held the selection. So the selection is like a five book series but then it's like a trilogy and then a duology. So like I said this one follows Maxin's daughter Edlyn Shreve as she holds the first selection with male suitors and she doesn't expect to find love within the selection she's kind of just like doing it as a distraction to please the people and kind of like to make her parents happy but then as the selection starts going underway the heart that she's been like trying to keep guarded and close to all these guys starts to open and she starts to think of them more as friends and that they're not actually so bad, and that maybe finding love within the selection is not all that impossible. I already finished reading this, I really enjoyed it, even though I was very annoyed with the main character, but she she does go through some character development at the end that makes me like her a little bit better. I'm not going to make any promises, but I will try to do a June wrap-up video at the end of the month, and this will be in that. And the last book that I have to show you is just One Day by Gail Foreman, which is a contemporary young adult novel. And I really enjoyed If I Stay, Where She Went, not so much, but there was a little preview of this, the like, the first chapter at the end of Where She Went, at the back of the book, and then I read it and I got major Anna and the French Kiss feels, even though they're not really like the same, there's no boarding school, and it takes place in a shorter amount of time. I I don't know, maybe it's because it takes place in Europe? France? Maybe? Probably? This one follows a girl named Allison, and she is on the last day of her three-week European post-graduation trip. She ditches her plans for the last night, and then she goes and watches some Shakespeare in a park, where she meets Willem. I think his name is pronounced Willem. I keep wanting to say William, but it's just Will and then E.M. And then he asks her to abandon her plan some more and come with him to Paris, and then she does 
which is very uncharacteristic of her. And then there's some more romance, some more risk, some feelings of like freedom because she's taking risks for the first time. And it all takes place in 24 hours, I believe. And then I kind of looked up just one year. I don't know why I did that, but I did. And I think I read like a little bit of it too. <laughs> I was very confused. Nothing made sense, but I'm fairly certain something bad happens in this book, but I'm excited nonetheless. I'll probably read this in the summer because I just... The Anna and the French Kiss feels are too strong. So that is it for my anniversary book haul. My sister also did one and I will link hers in the description down below and you can go check that out if you want. And I'm really hoping that this doesn't actually become like an annual anniversary book haul. Maybe Maybe our May book hauls will just always be anniversary book hauls, but I don't look forward to having a bookstore close at the, around the same time every single year. I hope that doesn't happen. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have read any of these books that I mentioned throughout the video. Really general and vague thoughts. So don't want spoilers. We always say that to you guys. Or you can tell me what your number one book is on your summer TBR. I think mine would be probably The Young Elites. I really want to read The Young Elites. Okay, yeah, I think I'm done. I think that's it. I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye!